have lived in Bristol's Hub for 72 years. In the mornings, I'm usually in the kitchen and I'm knitting. I always have something on needles. I've been knitting over 70 years. I'd say over 80, really, because I was only very, very small when I started to knit. I can remember first knitting little things from my dolls. My name is Yvonne Shepherd, and I'm 88 years old, and I started knitting when I was six or seven years old. Well, I came here to start teaching school when I was only a teenager, and I taught school in a little one-room school up the road. You know, I didn't have to ask my parents for anything. I just, I lived on what I made, $50 a month. We met and started dating. Tall, dark, and handsome. When you got married, you stayed home and raised your family. There's no daycares then. Had seven children, four boys, and three girls. One morning, got up ready to go to work, put on his coveralls, and just dropped them on the floor. Had a massive heart attack. 56 years old. He was the only one with bringing in income, so I had to do something. You just gotta go on and do the best you can, haven't you? I saw a little ad in the paper that they were looking for knitters, and you had to send in a sample of your work. So I sent in a sample of my knitting, and they sent it back with a big box of wool and a pattern and telling me what they wanted knit, and I've been knitting for them ever since. So it really helped me get through a, t a difficult time in my life. 33 years I've been in it for Nonia. Nonia is a not-for-profit which was established over 100 years ago, Newfoundland Outport Nursing and Industrial Association. Here in St. John's we put together orders for the knitters, wool and patterns uh, that we want them to knit and we send it to them wherever they are in the province. They knit the goods at home, package them up and mail them back to us. When the government took over health care, Nonia continued as an industrial operation, and the money was then uh, in really important household income for the women. Uh, one woman joked about having uh, knit her stove because she was able to buy a stove with the money she earned knitting for Nonia. Wool is very warm. It's naturally wind and water resistant. If you take care of a sweater, it will last you the rest of your life. And when it's reached the end of its useful life, it's biodegradable. Well, it's durable and it's soft and nice to wear. I would sooner work with the wool than with cotton or anything else. There's something I like about it. Oh, it's wonderful. I gave him a brief introduction to Nonia, and then he started asking the knitters about what they were, what they were knitting, how long they'd been knitting. He was charming and very polite, I found, and he just looked at it and sort of sized it up, and he said, a lot of work went into that. I said, yes, a lot of work with that went into that. He said, you do a lot of knitting. I said, if I'm sitting down, I'm knitting. So he thought that was funny. <laughs> I have 14 children all together, seven from my first marriage and seven stepchildren. So Mother's Day is a busy day because they all contact me on Mother's Day. The children were all grown and everyone had all the knitted stuff they wanted, so knitting for Nonia worked out wonderful for me. And I still enjoy my knitting. <laughs>